There is no truth in flesh, only betrayal. There is no strength in flesh, only weakness. There is no constancy in flesh, only decay. There is no certainty in flesh, but death. The Imperium of Man requires every able-bodied soul to contribute to its vast empire. Forged to unite humanity as the rightful inheritors of the galaxy, untold billions give praise to the master of mankind as his will manifests across the stars. Yet not all who pledge fealty to the Imperium adhere to unified acts of worship, service, or loyalty, and alliances must be formed with its more unconventional elements. For today, we shall elucidate the followers of the cult of the machine, oath sworn to enact the will of their so-called Omnissiah. The tech adepts and priests of Mars, the Adeptus Mechanicus. To know the origins of the Mechanicus is to unearth histories predating the Imperium of Man itself. For much of the deeds of the Adepts of Mars are known only to their own convoluted and redacted record keepers. What can be gleaned are the conflicts preceding their ascension, for the fertile soil of Mars once blossomed with greenery aplenty, now made desolate by countless battles for supremacy of its surface. The atmosphere of Mars burned, its visage once giving way to a rusted crimson sand alike to its previous state of millennia's past caused by the radioactive glare of the sun. Retreating to the safety of the underground tunnels, the Martian populace toiled in the dark, until after five millennia, the Martians once more returned to the surface, much changed. The cult of the Machine God now reigned supreme, and under their rule, Mars once more began to prosper with the blessings of their so-called Omnissiah as their vast forge cities burgeoned. Yet as the Mechanicus of Mars grew, the ruler of its sister world of Terra had also undergone an immense transition of power. Terra's ruler, the master of mankind, required many weapons to bring the galaxy to heal, and none among the domains of the Sol system compared to those maintained by the cult of the machine. In order for humanity to drag itself from the mire of the Dark Age of Technology, these strange bedfellows would prove crucial to its survival. Believing the Emperor to be the living embodiment of their patron god, the Martian priesthood sought peaceful resolution with the Conqueror of Terra, and offered to build powerful starships within their orbital fleet yards of Mars's Ring of Iron as a show of good faith. Forming an alliance with the Treaty of Olympus Mons, the then Cult Mechanicum integrated with the Imperium during 800.M30. Sanctioned independence from the structures and dictates of the Imperial Truth, such was the value of the expertise of the Tech Priests of Mars, that they retained sovereignty of their Forge Worlds in exchange for provisions of construction fleets to terraform reclaimed worlds conquered by the Imperium. Proving their worth time and again in service to the Master of Mankind, the Imperium swelled with the aid of the Cult Mechanicum, despite their heretical beliefs. Worshipping the Emperor, as the living embodiment of their patron machine god, their vital role in maintaining the infrastructure of the Imperium is viewed by many with quasi-supernatural wonder. Intertwined with religious superstition and strange rituals, none outside the bounds of the creed of these technological savants comprehend even a fraction of the workings of the Imperium's machineries. Claiming and preserving countless standard template constructs and hoarding vast repositories of knowledge, None within the Imperium can match the Adept's manufacturing nor maintenance output. Their ancient birthplace of Mars' colonization predating the Dark Age of Technology, it is a terrifying prospect to imagine what fell artifacts remain hidden beneath its arid surface. Equal to Terra in their interstellar expansion during this age, untold thousands of fragmented fiefdoms of their domain sundered during the Age of Strife maintained the teachings of Mars no matter their distance. Such unity of culture and creed allowed for the rapid rejuvenation of the Mechanicum during the Great Crusade, 
their temples and manufactorums readily available to resupply and reinforce the many expeditionary fleets of humanity. Finding many of their prodigal forge worlds to have sired feudal knight worlds in their absence, the Mechanicum regardless welcomed the use of knights into their military forces, which in time proved to be a powerful innovation to their arsenal. The civil wars and strife wrought by infighting and disagreements on the true objective of their creed, the Mechanicum's worship of the Omnissiah, despite jarring with the ideals of the Great Crusade, had unified their order with purpose. Yet none would be spared from the flames of heresy during the Great Civil War for humanity, and the savants of Mars proved no exception. Horus Lupercal, War Master of the Imperium, succeeded from the Empire of Man during the early years of the 31st millennium, his heresy wreaking havoc across countless worlds. Declaring their opposition to the Lupercal in lockstep with the Master of Mankind and his subjects, regardless of their otherwise cold logic, a schism emerged within the ranks of the Mechanicum. As civil war ravaged the Imperium, so too did infighting erupt upon the Forge World of Mars. The most highly ranked member of the machine cult, Fabricator General Kelbor Hal, siding with the War Master and breaking off to form his own new Mechanicum. Enacting the Great Schism of Mars, this rabble of heretics wrought destruction and tech debaucheries within the proximity of Holy Terror as the Loyalist Fabricator, Locum Kane, attempted to quell the insurrection. Promised complete STC databases from the planet of Draconis 311, the War Master of Chaos enticed Kelbor Hal and Regulus of the 63rd Expeditionary Fleet with secret knowledge and permission to develop artificial intelligences banned by the decree of the Emperor. Such abominable intelligences had brought humanity low millennia prior during the Age of Strife, yet merely a foolish heretic flocked to the War Master's banner, hungering for technologies not meant for mortal minds. Decrying the Master of Mankind as a false god, the Dark Mechanicum cite the true machine god to dwell within the heart of Mars's Noctis Labyrinthus. Rumored to be a dormant Catan shard of ancient times, known by common parlance as the Void Dragon. Regardless of the veracity of the being's true identity, the true adepts of Mars could never abide the notion that the being to which they gave praise was some malevolent Xenos. Fusing demonic entities with the purity of the machine, the Dark Mechanicum are a virus let loose upon the Void, twisting and malforming the Omnissiah's holy machine with untold depraved tech heresies. Yet to oppose the dark mirror of their former glory, following the conclusion of the Horus heresy, the Mechanicum of Mars required sweeping reforms to their creed. Their independent nature had proven exploitable by the traitor rebellion, and after protracted political navel-gazing and scrutiny levied by the Council of Terror, a new organization would be formed. The Adeptus Mechanicus would remain separate from Imperial jurisdiction, yet allow for a representative of their order to be appointed as a High Lord of Terror. With Fabricator General Zagreus Kane's installment as the first Martian High Lord of Terror, the Adeptus Mechanicus purged the captured followers of Kelbor Howe and organized the Grand Masters of the Titan Legions into the Adeptus Titanicus. Many trials in time would face the Adeptus Mechanicus, and whilst their steel had been tarnished and cold logic given way to corruptions, the tech priests of Mars now bore the immense burning of rebuilding the Imperium from the ashes. Abiding the reforms of the Council of Terror, the structure of the Mechanicus required drastic reorganization. Ranks such as the Archmagos Intendant, acting as planetary governor of various worlds, and the Holy Synod of the Lord Magos who acted as clerical oligarchs, were discontinued. Detachments of their military might, such as the Tugmata Omnissiah and Magos Militant were diminished before falling into obsolescence, for the Tech Guard of Mars's unflinching allegiance to their former fabricated general had proven to be a costly miscalculation. In place of the Mechanicum of old, senior ranks were diminished to reduce overlapping and conflicting hierarchical command protocols. As before, the Fabricator General is the most senior figurehead of the Adeptus Mechanicus, its authority now monitored and bolstered 
as an included member of the High Lords of Terror. Though many hold the position of Fabricated General within the Mechanicus, the ruler of the Dominion of Mars is the foremost of their rank. Subordinate to the Fabricated Generals are the Fabricator Locum, who assist their masters with governance of their respective forge worlds. Magos are devoted masters of technological and scientific disciplines, their rank signifying their mastery of their chosen fields, known as Divisiones. Attributed with the chosen Divisio next to their title, examples such as Magos Alchemis, Magos Technicus, Magos Lex Mechanicus, Magos Astrologicus, and Magos Digitalis enable outsiders to their creed to clearly identify their specialization. The most brilliant of these Magos, further attributed with loftier titles such as Arch Magos and Arch Magos Veneratus, little is known for such an attribution other than their obvious pedigree. Magos Dominus and Domina identify senior tech priests authorized to command military forces within the Mechanicus, charged with obtaining long-lost or secret technologies which may benefit their creed. Entrusted with ancient battle automata, their pursuit of arcane technologies is beyond value should they secure such artifacts for study, with such individuals benefiting from prolonged lifespans, often exceeding centuries, if not millennia, of service. Magos Explorators quest for knowledge and search far and wide for lost STC databases and ancient human archives. Delving into the depths of long dormant catacombs and sealed Dark Age of Technology caches, it is common for such pilgrims to petition aid from rogue traders in exchange for vast riches. Magos Errants are like to explorators also collaborate with rogue trader fleets in order to hone their study of metallurgy, genetics, engineering, and other more esoteric disciplines. Venturing into the unknown to pursue their understanding in the most hostile of environments, each explorator who returns to Mars heralds bounties of knowledge to be imparted to their creed. Magos Juris devote their lives to studying the will of the Omnissiah and eschew pursuits of knowledge in order to preserve their purity. Rooting out heathen heretics and thieves who steal knowledge from the Mechanicus, these pious augmented hunters transform their victims into servitors in order to suffer in silence as their own menial serfs. Gifting extended lifespans to their victims, woe betides any who commit blasphemy against the Omnissiah or seek to safeguard Archaeotech from the Mechanicus. Said to serve members of a secretive order known as the Lord's Dragon, this ancient cabal of tech priests comprised solely of Archmagoses police the void in order to prevent dangerous technologies from falling into the wrong hands. Logis act as the administrators of the Mechanicus, their skill as accountants, statisticians, logisticians, and mathematicians controlling the vast flow of resources and information of each forge world. Predicting margins of error for planetary economies, active war zone artillery barrage telemetry projections, civil unrest statistics, and interstellar trade route delays, such as their skill in foreseeing unrest that many see the Logis as prophetic in nature. Genitors dabble in the studies of genetics and are on some occasions regarded as Magos Biologis. Respected above other Lex Mechanics or Engine Seers, the Genitors of the Mechanicus have proven capable in finding weaknesses in Xenos biology, which they forward to military branches of the Imperium. Artisans build and preserve a variety of technologies from Adeptus Astartes armaments to Agriworld harvesters. Ostensibly, the engineering class of the Mechanicus, each artisan commands legions of labor serfs in order to cater to the needs of each forge world. Electro priests seek to harness the sacred motive force of the machine and allow electricity to channel through subcutaneous tattoos known as electus. Cybernetically modified with strange harnesses and coils, the most devout of such priests generate arcs of lightning which can sunder the most powerful of foes. Engine seers are trained to repair the many war machines of the Mechanicus and are often seconded to regiments of the Astra Militarum to aid in maintaining their vehicles. Seen as lowly by their peers due to their lack of building nor discovery of technologies, the essential yet ignoble engine seers 
toil as the many cogs of the machine cult. Transmechanics specialize in communication systems and serve far and wide across many organizations of the Imperium, often spending their entire lives aboard Navy vessels or bastion worlds of the Astra Militarum. Lex Mechanics maintain the vast libraries and archives of the Mechanicus, endlessly compiling data to be fed into the many cogitator repositories of the so-called Calculus Logi. Assigned to the wider Imperium to better utilize their logistical abilities, no mortal beings can match the Lex Mechanics' speed and accuracy when sifting through statistics and reports. Menials and servitors make up the remaining lowest rung of the machine cult, the immense requirements for unskilled labor permitting their indoctrination of billions of souls and lobotomizing those deemed acceptable to be transformed into cyborgs. The servitors of the Mechanicus vast in their designs and implementation, their roles as quarry miners, combat automatons, and computer drones also act as a reminder of what happens to those who are convicted of crimes made against the Omnissiah. Though many senior positions exist within the Mechanicus, it can be difficult to understand their often convoluted and overlapping hierarchies. What can be ascertained is that the Disciples of the Machine God branch each of their military divisions into descending roles of importance. The engines of the Omnissiah, the Centurio Ordinatus, stand at the peak of this hierarchy, experts in commanding the gargantuan and revered war machines of the Mechanicus. The Collegia Titanica are renowned throughout the Void as their hulking god machines of the Titan Legions lay waste to the enemies of the Imperium. Their hulking forms a terrifying sight to behold. The Collegiate enforce the Law Mechanicus and must root out lawbreakers who defy the will of each Forge World. Similar to the Adeptus Arbites and Emperor's Inquisition in purpose, the Lord's Dragon of the Collegiate passed judgment on evidence provided by the Magos Juris in order to prosecute the wicked. The Auxilium Myrmidon are led by distinguished tech priests known as siege engineers and war savants. This largely independent band of warriors hunt down Mechanicus renegades and accompany explorators during dangerous investigations. The Legione Scitari, or Tech Guard of the Mechanicus, form the majority of their military, trained from birth to fight and die in the name of the Omnissiah. The Legio Cybernetica trace their legacy to before the days of the Imperium's foundation and maintain the immensely powerful War Robots. And for war zones which require victory at any cost, the Ordo Reductor deploy forbidden weapons of ages past and bring blessed ruin to the enemies of the Dies Mechanicus. Tech Priest Dominuses lead their congregations protected by Cataphron Battle Servitors, which can be replaced at a moment's notice due to the production of hundreds of these expendable soldiers across every Forge World. Every warrior, servitor, and circuit of the subjects of the Mechanicus are implanted with Electu circuits in order to strengthen their resolve in battle. The commandments of their binaric programming overriding all sense of fear or hesitance. The Legio Scitari escorting the Goliath Ordinatus and Titan War Machines into battle. Each member of the Crimson Guard who falls can be recycled into materials to grow new replacements. Imbued with the manifestation of their patron's favor, though branches of the Imperium such as the Ecclesiarchy show disdain for their strange beliefs, the efficacy of their dogma cannot be denied. Each and every machine spirit, from the lowliest of auspexes to the most prestigious Titan war machines, bar the gifts of the Omnissiah from those who do not give praise to its teachings, nor offer propitiations. The ultimate goal of the Mechanicus at its core is to fully comprehend the will of the Omnissiah and achieve technological enlightenment. Their militias use merely to protect and obtain artifacts in their endless quest for knowledge. Their faith upheld by the 16 universal laws, the mantra of the Mechanicus is divided into two collections. The mysteries of the cult Mechanicus are as follows. Life is directed motion. The spirit is the spark of life. Sentience is the ability to learn 
value of knowledge. Sentience is the ability to learn the value of knowledge. Intellect is the understanding of knowledge. Sentience is the basest form of intellect. Understanding is the true path to comprehension. Comprehension is the key to all things. The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. Whereas the warning of the Cult Mechanicus follows. The alien mechanism is a perversion of the true path. The soul is the conscience of sentience. A soul can be bestowed only by the Omnissiah. The soulless sentience is the enemy of all. The knowledge of the ancient stands beyond question. The machine spirit guards the knowledge of the ancients. Flesh is fallible, but ritual honors the machine spirit. To break with ritual is to break with faith. Unable to innovate for fear of repeating the mistakes of the past, the tech priests of Mars confiscate and incorporate every unearthed contraption necessary to bolster their armies. Scrutinized heavily by the Emperor's Holy Inquisition, it has not been uncommon for the two factions to engage in open conflict. Wary of their largely unfettered autonomy, the clandestine agents of the Imperium must be cautious not to anger the cult of the machine for fear of losing their resources, military might, and titan legions. Inquisitors regularly recruiting tech adepts into their staff of acolytes in order to smooth relations. In order to achieve their goals of technological mastery, each tech priest bears sophisticated and strange appendages beneath their sacred rust red and black robes. Most replace many of their limbs with cybernetic alternatives, replete with specialist tools and enhancing their strength, for it is by no means uncommon for many to transform into forms far removed from their humanoid origins. Replacing their eyes with synthetic lenses capable of viewing electromagnetic, thermal, and multispectrum magnification. Through the gifts of the Omnissiah, its subjects see all. Mechadendrite tentacles sprawl from their spines, aiding in their mobility, neural interfacing capabilities, lifting power, replete with medical supplies, monomolecular blades, and maintenance tools. Many a tech priest is subsumed by such invaluable organetics. Replacing their blood supply with more oxygen-efficient synthetic chemical substitutes, their acts of autosanguination improve what remains of their flesh's capabilities to fight off infection, toxins, and heal damaged tissue. Carrying the axe-headed Omniscient Glaives, these holy icons of the Mechanicus are deadly in combat and entrusted only to proven disciples of the Machine God. Enhancing their memory with cortex implants and bolstering their cognitive computing power with neurocortex devices, the tech priests of Mars must be fastidious with their incorporation to preserve their memories. Capable of eidetic memory and able to process gargantuan amounts of data with speed, the most senior adepts are akin to walking supercomputers, blessed with extended lifespans and retaining little of their brain's organic mass. Embedding electrografts beneath what skin remains allowing for the download of skills and information from various data sources. These grafts allow for more direct interfacing with technologies such as Voidcraft to enable better maneuverability and control. Replacing their speech organs with box-casting vocal synthesizers, though their quality varies to the ears of organics, those of the credo of the Omnissiah care only for their efficiency in communication between their peers. Preferring to speak in the binaric coded language of their cult, even the most capable linguist struggles to understand the strange blurts of noise which can be comparable to an assault on the senses by those outside the Mechanicus. On rare occasions, tech priests connect directly with large external machinery such as titans and starships using mind impulse units. Yet only the most revered adherents of the machine cult are entrusted with such devices. On rarer occasions, a select few tech priests can bind their consciousness into a single body using binary cortexes, often to improve their understanding when serving within aligned topics of study 
and there are rumors of such burgeoning their consciousness with the minds of several brilliant minds. Suppressing their human emotions by use of the right of pure thought, the removal of their brain's superfluous right side and replacement with a digital cogitator frees them of the burdens of the flesh. For the duties and demands of the Mechanicus are relentless and only remain pure with obsessive adherence to the tenets of the cult of the machine, undiluted by compassion, mercy, or ethical concerns. A man may die and still endure if his work enters the greater work, for time is carried upon a current of forgotten deeds, and events of great moment are but the culmination of a single, carefully placed thought. As all men must thank progenitors obscured by the past, so we must endure the present, so that those who follow may continue the endeavor. This has been a tale of the great Imperium of Man, read by the Remembrancer. The cold logic of the Mechanicus is a necessary tool to enable the survival of the Imperium. Though the subjects of the Emperor may find such allies strange and unsettling, all must seek to tolerate and understand their peculiarities. For he who fights alone dies, and only through reliable and stalwart allies can one thrive. So seek to learn of the differences of those around you, even should you never adhere to their cultures or creeds. For your quest to understand them shall prove crucial as you embark upon your own journey of discovery and prosperity.